fight that had everyone talking ends in a 10th round TKO. And here's Andre Ward to talk it over. To me, this went exactly as scripted or planned by Floyd Mayweather. It was the usual feeling out process. He took a sweet time, maybe an extra round or two than expected. But then you could see Conor McGregor disappear. Yeah, this is what Floyd wanted to do. He wanted the fight to go about seven, eight, maybe nine rounds. It went one longer. It went to the 10th round. But like we said earlier in the buildup, Floyd wanted to take his time. He knew he had a, a very awkward opponent in front of him, a style that he's never seen before. Conor McGregor is very big, very strong, so he's able to hold Floyd. Floyd can't get away. A lot of different things that Floyd wasn't used to seeing, and I was really surprised at how much Floyd got hit tonight from a guy who has no professional boxing experience. We're going to delve into the specifics, of course, as we go on with blanket coverage for the next couple of hours. Hope to hear from both fighters, maybe even get Floyd up here on a Sports Center set. Uh, to me, this is kind of the best possible result. This seems to be win-win. Conor McGregor did himself and UFC proud by hanging around to the 10th round. And in the end, Floyd Mayweather wins again to go to the, the, the magical 50-0. I think the fans got their money's worth. I think it wasn't, you know, uh, a toe-to-toe -to -toe war, but McGregor had way more moments offensively than people thought. He took some good shots, but the punishment just started to add up to the body and to the head. The referee made a good call. I've heard people say just from walking from the back to out here that, oh, should have went longer. McGregor was going to get seriously hurt because Floyd is an accurate puncher and he knows just where to put those punches. It was interesting, the filling out process. I, I think you were caught by surprise a little bit the first two, the first two or three rounds to McGregor. Right. Uh, I could have went uh, maybe 2-1 McGregor. But the first two rounds for sure. Which I didn't expect. To Conor McGregor. And a lot of, you know, a lot of people didn't see him winning a single round, getting a single shot in. Uh, but that was certainly very impressive. And that's why I say McGregor and the MMA side, they can feel good about what they saw tonight. No, he put, he put on a great performance. I mean, he did the best that he could again. Conor McGregor has no fights, no professional experience against Floyd Mayweather, who has 49 fights. He calls himself TBE, the best ever. He's in the, he's in the discussion. I expected a lot less from McGregor, and I expected a little bit more from Floyd Mayweather. I think Floyd showed his age a little bit. He's still got a lot left in the tank, but when you start seeing yourself get hit with punches, you typically wouldn't get hit with, it, especially against a guy with no experience, and you're not offensively getting off and throwing like you should be, it's time to hang it up, and it's not that you don't have it, but you want to leave before you don't have it anymore. And we think he is going to leave. We believe this to be it. That's what he said. He's been saying this all along. He sort of came out of retirement for this. The start was so interesting because I think Floyd threw four punches yeah. in the first round, four yeah. or five, and yeah. that's it. The one thing would be a defensive fighter, but with, with McGregor throwing 25 in the first round, that was that was sort of a, whoa, we might have something here moment. Yeah, and I, I knew Floyd was going to do that. Again, he didn't get this far taking crazy risk. He's going to take his time. He's got 12 rounds. You know, we're in the back kind of looking like, whoa, McGregor's having some rounds, and there's almost some panic setting in from some people saying, man, we didn't expect McGregor to do as well as he's doing. But Floyd, who's the consummate professional, he's taking his time. He's like, look, I got another 10 rounds. I've got eight more rounds. I've got six more rounds. And Floyd knows that the punishment to the body, the straight right hands, the big straight right hands to the head are starting to sink in, and they start to show up late in the fight, as we just saw. At any point, do you think Floyd was concerned? We talked about those first couple of rounds. Was there any point where Floyd thought, maybe I am in some trouble here? I don't think he ever panicked, but I think he, you know, Floyd's been in situations like that before where he's been hurt, he's been wobbled, never went down, but he knew that, hey, again, I have eight rounds, I have seven more rounds, so in this fight, I think he had a few moments where he said, wow, McGregor's probably a little better than I thought, a little bit more awkward. This fight's a little bit closer than I thought it was going to be at this point in time. But I never, th I don't think he ever lost faith that he was going to win. I'm being told that in the ring following the fight, uh, Floyd Mayweather said exactly that. He gave full props to Conor McGregor and said he was better than I thought he would be. Uh, two aspects I want to get into. We saw the hammer punch. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so give me a little uh, on the hammer punch. And we expected some instinct by McGregor yeah. to kick in, right? He's trying to stay away from the, the mixed martial arts fighting. So the hammer punch. And then how about the, the tactic by Floyd turning his back on McGregor? Yeah, I didn't understand that. I didn't understand Floyd giving McGregor his back. I mean, that's something that personally I don't do. And I think we're taught not to do. You know, you got to protect yourself at all times. If for some reason McGregor lost his cool and hit Floyd with a meaningful punch behind the head, Floyd could be really, really hurt. So I don't understand that. I think McGregor showed a lot of restraint, even though we saw a few hammer punches tonight. We'll take that 
from a guy who's been doing this pretty much his whole life. I think he did a great job of restraining himself. That was an action-packed fight, though. It, it kept your attention. You were, you were coming into the fight. You had to see what was going to happen. And then even after the fight started, you couldn't wait for the next round. Yeah, the fight was closed. I don't know. I don't, I'm curious to see what the official scores were. Right. But I think the people leaving here tonight, they feel like they got their money's worth. I thought you had one round even. Do you have a two-point round in there? Possibly. I think I, I can't. Late. Maybe six, seven, somewhere yeah. around there. Well, that was a lot of fun to watch. Do you think it lived up to the hype? And again, the hype was off the charts, out of this world. I'm not sure any fight could live up to this level of hype. Do you think it came close? I think this is what this is the best you could ask for. I mean, again, this is a guy in Conor McGregor who's zero and zero going up against Floyd Mayweather, who's 49 and 0. We got to let that sink in. McGregor overperformed, and I think Floyd did exactly what we thought he was going to do. I think the fans are going home happy. I'm glad pay-per-view got fixed. Hopefully, they're <laughs> happy. Everybody goes home feeling accomplished and feeling good. How'd you get to